Well, here I am with Ramon uh, Elzinger from Culture Amp. Uh, welcome to OC, Ramon. Thanks, mate. Uh, I don't live far from here. Oh, perfect. Well, that worked out well. Um, so, Culture Amp, um, I was reading an article this morning saying that um, it's considered a $1.5 billion um, unicorn. Um, so, tell me, what, what is a tech unicorn? Um, uh, I think it's just a term. It means you're worth more than. I mean, we did do a funding round, which was, I think, public. Uh, we raised 150 mil US for 10% uh, of the company, so I think it's about two in Aussie. So, so what is Culture Amp? And yeah, tell me a bit about it. Well, I guess if you go back one step, uh, my brother, I worked for a little bit also, but worked here in Adelaide for a company called Rising Sun Pictures, um, which at the time was doing mainly marketing, um, post-production work. My brother ended up being CEO there for 10 years, out near Norwood. Um, and he realised over that time that the movies that we won were really won because of the people that we had. We had some incredible artists and compositors um, and as long as they were working with us we were able to you know, go, go further, work on Hobbit and work on all sorts of really, really cool movies. But 10 years later he, he realised, and this is, we're talking 10 years ago, that he, as they grew it was very hard to understand what was going on with the people. You've got a lot of important people when you've got, at that time, about 200 people. And even just mathematically, it was hard to speak to all of them. So he was looking at how can we essentially elevate the speed. Um, so we created what was the first real-time employee engagement tool in the world, and that's kind of where it all began. At OC, we've been using the platform for, I think, about seven years or so. Yeah, one of our, one of our very early customers. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> Are we in the VIP program? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So I guess when you talk about engagement score, which is one of the primary um, measuring tools that's used with Culture Amp, can you tell us a little bit more about what engagement means and what an engagement score does for a company? Yeah, um, I mean to break it down it really looks at two things. Are your employees motivated and inspired, that's one part of it. And then the other part is, um, you know, do they intend to, to hang around as part of the team? And those two things come together as engagement and then two very important things um, and somewhat again knitted together the more excited motivated the more they're learning the more leadership they have um, the more likely they are as people to be learning um, to be going further to taking their career to the next step so it's how do you look at that in a very quick way um, and understand at least you, you can't do everything for everyone what's really important um, and that's really what it's about if you've got 100 or 200 people working together you can listen with all of them, you can talk with them, but there's only so much you can do. So it's how do you bring it all together and understand what are the key things that we can do over the next 90 days, the next 180 days, the next year, that will make a difference to as big a portion of the people that you can. That, that makes sense. I, I, I noticed in one of the surveys um, that I've read through um, that there's a series of questions, if you like, that the employees are asked, and then there's an algorithm, I understand, that kind of puts together a score. Um, and then you're benchmarked against other companies that have similar size and in similar industry across either you know, Australia or can be across the world. Um, when you've seen these reports um, and you see these higher engagement scores, what are some of the key things that are creating those engagement scores to be so high in the leading companies? Uh, we've got a pretty big data lake these days. We've got about six million people sitting, working on these types of surveys. Um, so we've got some fairly clear information that we've accumulated over the last 10 years. And there's probably two extremely, like most, almost all companies tend to find this important. One is learning, as in people want to be getting better at whatever they're doing. They want to be progressing. They don't want to be just standing in one spot. Um, the other is, is really vision from leadership. So if they have an understanding of where the company's looking to go, looking to go forward, What's the next level? How can they become part of that? What can they do to help achieve this vision? And give some clarity about what the plan is in a year, three years time. And of course, nobody knows what the future will be. We've all experienced that over the last four or five years, but they understand that the person um, or the team or their leaders and the mentors are having a clear, well-aligned vision of how the organisation uh, is travelling. And so if you can get you know, clear vision from leadership, managers, etc and you can provide across the organisation a way of people learning and sort of progressing, they're probably the two keys.